What were you and your family doing in Port Charles on the evening of February 28th? We had been living in Los Angeles, but we had to go back to Landview, Pennsylvania, the city where I grew up. Our plane was rerouted, and we had to drive the rest of the way. We rented a car. And you were in that rental car when the accident occurred, correct? Yes. Uh, I know this will be difficult for you, but I need for you to tell us about those moments leading up to the accident. Cole and I... Uh... We loved each other very, very much, and we had been apart for a while due to outside circumstances. We had only been together for a few weeks before... It's okay. Please take your time. Uh, we were very happy, and we were very excited for our future. Cole wanted to make things more solid for me and for Hope. And he asked me to marry him. I know this is difficult. Hey, this is not Take relevant. How come you're not objecting? Because it's not going to do you any favors if I start bullying a, a teenage mother who's grieving. I'll object. Cole was teasing me. Relax. He said that I had to give him an answer, and that's when we heard the gunshots. Are you sure about the noises you heard? Yes, I'm positive. I've heard gunshots before. Go on. Everything happened so fast, almost all at once. I, I saw the headlights. I was screaming. Cole tried to swerve, but... Anthony Zucara's car. It forced you off the road, correct? Yes. Yes. What happened next? Our car had gone through the guardrail. I was on the passenger side. It was the only door that worked. I got out, but... The car was slipping. The passenger side was hanging off the edge of the cliff. What about Cole and Hope? They were trapped. Cole's leg was broken, and Hope was still strapped in her car seat, and it was wedged, and I couldn't get their doors open. What did you do then? I ran over to, to the other car, and the older man was getting out. Was this the man? The other driver? Yes. That's him. Photograph, you are a witness just positively identified as Anthony Zakara. This will be entered into evidence. Oh, please, go on, Miss Manning. I begged Anthony to help me, but he said that he couldn't. He refused to help you? He said that he couldn't because someone was gunning for him. Then what was your reaction? I screamed. I said, you have to help me. You're the one that caused this accident. What did Mr. Zakara say? He said, don't blame me, kid. Blame the guy who shot out my tires. His name is Sonny Corinthos. Objection, hearsay. Proceed, Counselor. One final question, Your Honor. What happened to Cole and your daughter? I, I was... I was passed out, but from what I was told, the car slid off the edge of the cliff with Cole and Hope inside of it, and... And it... Ex it exploded with Cole and Hope inside, and they died. No further questions, Your Honor. Your Honor, one question. Miss Manning, I would just like to ask if you actually saw... Sonny no, Corinthos. I did not see Sonny Corinthos shoot out Anthony Zakara's tires, but that doesn't mean that he didn't do it. But it doesn't mean that he did. No more questions, Your Honor. You may step down, Miss Manning. Next witness. Prosecution calls Michael Corinthos the third.
When you and your brother, Detective Falconeri, came upon the accident, you were out searching for your father, correct? Yes. Why did you think you'd find him on Highway 115? That's the quickest route to the airport, am I right? You believed your father was looking for Anthony Zaccara, who was probably trying to get out of town, am Objection, I right? Objection, Your Honor, leading. Overruled. You and your brother both believed your father was gunning for Anthony Zaccara that night, didn't you? Sustained. Spare us the theatrics, counselor. Mr. Corinthos, do you believe your father, Sonny Corinthos, was pursuing Anthony Zaccara on the evening of February the 28th? Yes. Your witness. Did you see your father at the scene of the accident? No. Did you see your father's car on the road at any time that night? No. Did you see your father at any time prior to the accident? Yes. Where? Uh, he was at the hospital. He'd been in the emergency room to get stitches. Would you say that he appeared emotion? Yeah. Angry? Objection. Calls for speculation. Your Honor, this is Mr. Corinthos' son. He would certainly be able to identify if his father appeared angry or not. Overruled. Continue, Miss Davis, but don't take too long getting there. You said that your father appeared emotional. Do you know why? Well, he just lost somebody close to him. Dr. Robin Scorpio had just died in a lab accident, and my father had known her since she was a teenager, so... And when your father heard the news of Dr. Scorpio's death, how did he react? Was he outraged? Was he angry? I don't know. He was, uh, sad and quiet. He loved Robin a lot. That's all. Thank you. You may step down. Counselor, call your next witness. Ballistics tests confirm that this is the gun used to shoot out Anthony Zakar's tires, correct? Yes, it is. Where did you find this gun? In Kate Howard's office at Crimson Magazine. Let the record reflect that Kate Howard is Sonny Corinthos's current girlfriend. Who does the gun in question belong to? We don't know. The uh, serial number was filed off and the fingerprints were wiped clean. Oh. No further questions, Your Honor. Detective, how did you get access to Miss Howard's office? I took the elevator to the third floor in the Metro Court Hotel. This is a private elevator? No, it's a public elevator. Oh, so it's accessed by anyone in the lobby? Yes. Really? Did this elevator go straight to Miss Howard's office? Well, it went to the reception area where there's a couple desks and uh, no one was there at the time. So you took it upon yourself to go into Miss Howard's private office? Well, the door was wide open, so yes, I walked in. So if you can do that, anyone can do it. Objection. Calls for conjecture. Overruled. Detective, did you see Sonny Corinthos leave the gun in Kate Howard's office? No. Isn't it possible that anyone then could have planted the gun in Kate Howard's office? This is the part where she tries to point the finger at me. Uh, I'm sorry, could you restate the question, please? No problem. So it's possible that anyone could have planted the gun in Miss Howard's office, correct? That's correct. I have no further questions. Detective Falconeri, you may step down. District Attorney Martinez, I'll call your next witness. Prosecution calls Kate Howard. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, sir, up your God? I do. You may be seated. For the record, would you please state your name? My name? My name is Connie Falconeri. 